What's going, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Raise Blaze. If you're new to channel, remember to subscribe and do all that great stuff. So today we are going to be working with hair simulation. Obviously, if you guys don't know, I do have my 3D model. Actually, this is Green Lantern. If you guys want to know how to do Green Lantern's power, just make comment and probably I'll I'll do something about that. All right, so um, I want to give him a nice hair. You know what I'm saying? So. However, you know, he's a black man, so probably he, he, he needs maybe a punk or something, all right? Or afro. Let's try afro, okay? So first thing you want to do is you want to select, you know, your hair polygons. Now, I already did that because I just feel like it's very unnecessary to do that with you guys live. So just go ahead and select the hair area, like the top area that you want the hair to be filled up with. And then what you want to do is you're going to hold down Shift and C to bring out the search button just type in hair and then you're gonna add hair now obviously when this happens you see a whole bunch of craziness we don't really want um, we don't really want this to be happening okay so what you're gonna do is you go over to your, your hair place and then you want to reduce the length now probably I'm gonna reduce my length to maybe a four yeah that looks better now so as you can see it's uh, it's looking like you know black man's hair I would say like an afro right so let's play let's play this now it does have some uh, dynamics going on with it but we are not gonna be working with that because um, I don't know if you guys know uh, you know African Americans their hair don't you know float in the air you know what I'm saying it's not that fluffy alright so I'm gonna move this to polygon area then reroute yeah I just have it I just like it being in the polygon area all right so um, the next thing I want to do now is to walk on the on the texture of the hair because I feel like that's what's more important so obviously I'm gonna go over to the color now I I usually use noise to sort of you know get the color texture right because you can mix colors so I'm gonna make this dark and then probably I'll make this maybe a little bit brownish, a little bit, yeah, but not too brown, just like that. Okay, hmm. let's make it lower down to dark. All right, that's better. All right, so now we have that. Next thing you want to do is click on the thickness. Now, if you're working with hair simulation, always put the thickness, the roots at 0.02. And then the tip at 0 0.01. So as you can see, it's coming together. It's, it's looking more like a hair. Let me just turn off the daylight here. Actually, I'll I'll, I'll turn on the the ground spot because yeah. So now we can see clearly. You see, it's it's looking like a hair now. All right. So now this is where the fun begins, whereby you 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 really. I'm not sure what you really want because man there's a lot of options all right so let's start with the freaks now let's see what that does so that makes it look a little bit let me increase the percentage see what that is doing actually okay I see what it's doing it's making it look like you know fluffy like when you comb your hair you see how you know straight is gonna look like so probably that's what it's doing right here and let me just increase this to yeah and then I'm gonna bring this down here. Okay, we don't want that. Nope, it's not what we want. So I'm guessing I'm gonna leave it like this. Probably let's try a hundred percent. Okay, hundred percent is too much. I'll give it a thirty. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna leave the freaks on. Let's go over the kink. Now the kink. Let's see. Did he do anything much? I'm not really sure. Let's try 50%. Okay, we'll go back to 30. Alright, so I'm going to bring this up here and then bring this down. Mm. So again, this is your preference. If you want the hair to look some type of way, you got to do like that. So density, I don't think we need density. Clump, we definitely need clump. Okay, so this makes it look more realistic. That's what it does. And I'm going to increase this to 50%. So always turn on clump. It makes it look more realistic. All right. 
So let's see, Titan. I don't know what this does though. No, we don't want that. Displace. Let's see what Displace does. We don't want that. Now, coil. I don't know if you guys know most African Americans, they have coily hair. Now, in this case, do I want my model to be coily? I don't know if I do actually. I don't. I don't really know. But it does look nice. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I can just um, let's viewport this so I can. Yeah, it's way better like this. Well, do I want it to look coily? Hmm. I'm not really sure. Let me reduce the coil a little bit, maybe to 30 degrees. Yeah, just to have it look a little bit more settled. Now let's go crazy and put 180. See how that looks. Nope, we don't want that. Okay. I'm going to give it a 30. Alright, so let's go over to the twist. Hmm. Now the twist is... Uh, hmm. Not sure what that did anyways, but... Uh, Okay, so we're gonna leave the twist at 40 degrees. It does look nice like that. Yeah. Alright, let's see the wave. Wave, yeah, doesn't really do much, but yeah, straighten. Yeah, we're gonna leave it like that. Okay, so now I know some people are wondering, oh, I don't really like this type of hair, you know, maybe it's too. Now you could go ahead and give him a haircut. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could give him a haircut. Actually, let's do that. You know, let's give him a little bit of haircut. How about that? And it really does look nice. It really looks really, really nice. Oh wow! I'm really happy with the result. Okay, so let's let's give him maybe a little bit of a. Uh, Let's see what we can do. Probably we can... Let's cut the hair a little bit, alright? So, um, you want to click on the hair. And, uh... Maybe this part we just cut. Oh, we gotta cut the teeth though. So, I'm gonna pause this and just cut a little bit. So you know what your barber do, that's exactly what you're going to do. Yep. So again, this is your choice. You don't have to do this. I'm just saying like, if you want a much more refined type of hairstyle, you got to take your time to do it. So let's just reduce this. Okay, let me see how that looks. So guys, you see what I mean? Now it's looking more refined, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's just take it down. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying this. Hmm, I see why barbers like to cut people's hair. It's actually fun, I'm not gonna lie. It is fun to do. All right. So let's cut this part too. All right, let's see how that looks now. All right, y'all. So you see that it's coming together. It is actually. So yeah, again. This is how you accomplish, you know, hair simulation. Um, the back does not really... Yeah, I also need to cut the back too. Because let's see what we can do with the back. Let's cut it down. So, you know... Um, I really spent a lot of time trying to understand 
how the hair works. Okay. All right. So that looks really good now. Oh, what did I do? Oh man, where where's my 3D model? Ah. It's right here. Okay, so basically I'm going to go with this. Now it's your choice, you can always refine it. Now let's add some dynamics. You see the back, the back is kind of too long but you know that will take more time to get it right let's add some dynamics now if we add some dynamics oh the dynamics already enabled so let's see what that does so as you see it makes it's not for him okay black people don't have that okay so if you want to disable that just go over to dynamics here under the hair and just click disable oh shouldn't have that turned on all right just click disabled yeah and so ladies and gentlemen you have your hair made up for your uh, character now look at it before and after so it's your choice man all right let me show you guys some some other hair simulation that I did this is um this is Vixen from um, you know the the DC comics um, yeah, so this this is actually the way I made that hair. Look at that. It looks really, really good. Look, you know, I, I know, like, because I'm black, so, you know, I know, like, my mom liked this kind of hair, too, you know. You know what I mean? So I made her hair like this. It looks pretty okay. Yeah. Not too bad. And likewise, Supergirl, like, if you want to have a long female hair, um, we can also accomplish that. Now, let me just show you guys what I mean. So, this is Supergirl. Uh, I give her a blonde hair. Now, just ignore why the hair is up if you play it. So, let's just begin this from here. So, we're going to just bring it down. Let it come down. And settle down. So yeah, now I do feel like her hair is not really, really, um, okay, that's how it looks like with the light. It's not really, really looking like a hair, so probably I want to go over to the settings and just see what I can do. Okay, I did enable clump. What if I increase the clump to 50%, see what that does. Yeah, actually no, because even that rough edges so the freeze see on the freeze oh <laughs> I see what that does sort of gives it makes it look really really crazy <laughs> I'm gonna have it go down this way I'll probably give it a five percent yeah okay so um again just have fun experimenting doing um a very a female long hair can be quite tedious i'm just gonna say because normally some girls they have their hair from this medium and they come like this way and then another one come this way so you're gonna have two hair simulation on that anyways so i also give a eyebrow see that so yeah you can do that too Anyways, that's it for this uh, tutorial. If you guys like this, give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know in the comments what other tutorials you want me to cover. And I'm um, pretty sure I'm going to try to bring in more tutorial. And um, yeah, man, thank you guys. And um, I'll see you guys next time. And take it easy. Peace.